This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description. JVOS is a new way of thinking of jujitsu. It's a conceptually based approach to teaching jujitsu. It's a new way of simplifying a very complex art. If you, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link and get your copy of JVOS today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez and today we have a JVOS lecture that I am calling Universal Truths. So let's get right into this lecture. These are the things that are just true in Jiu-Jitsu and in combat as a whole. I wanted to point some of these things out to give, again, a little bit of a bigger picture as to what we are currently doing here. So there are certain fight truths that I believe are true. What to control in a fight. It's very important to have the bottom line, the root problems of particular situations. And controlling these things in a fight will lead, for you, lead to victory far more often than not. I think that these are vital and important uh, truths within the fight realm. Very simple. Control the hands, control the fight. Control the distance, control the fight, and control the rhythm, control the fight. Very simple. Uh, any any high-level fighter, uh, I believe, should agree with, with these truths. Now, there are categories of truth that I want to get into. The first are strategical. The second is optimized control. The third are basic mechanics. So first, we're start, going to start off with strategic, strategical truths or strategies. Absolute advantage is, is 100%. A real thing that we discuss absolute advantage in depth in the JVOS course. Wrist isolation strategies are incredibly important whenever you're on top of people. Understanding how to isolate an opponent's wrist and arm uh, will limit the amount of offense or defense that the opponent will be able to have. Hugely important. Arm trap strategies, again, very similar to wrist isolation strategies. Arm trap strategies will, will make make your life much easier. Let's just say that. If you can trap people's arms, your life is far easier than if you don't trap people's arms. And again, this is what I'm talking about when I mention universal truths. There's just, it's it, undeniable. These are undeniable. The tale of two tales of two homies. Again, we discussed this in the JVOS course, and this is basic configuration theory. Um, again, if you are on the bottom, your arms being split aren't good for you. If you're on the bottom, your hands being together are two tails of two homies. When you are on the top, to split an opponent's arms wide is, is beneficial for you. If an opponent's hands are close together, it's more beneficial to the opponent. Again, this is undeniable. And again, positional configuration theory, which I'm going to do a video on this. I'm putting together the content for positional configuration theory. I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible. Basically, what, what it states is that there are certain body configurations which favor a particular perspective. So fighting to those, those configurations and away from the ones that are not beneficial um, is kind of the root of what configuration theory is all about. Optimize control. Wrist pin locations. There are locations where you can pin an opponent's wrist which are more optimized for control. There are certain places that uh, will not give you any control or very little control. So understanding exactly where to pin an opponent's wrist is vitally important. Again, I will be making a presentation covering this uh, under the basic mechanics label. Arm pin locations. Again, very similar to wrist pin locations. There's places where you can pin the arm which which are much uh, better than others. Basic body control, basic hand control, as, as well as you know, understanding how to grab a hand, where to grab a hand, how to, what, what places in the hand I'm, I'm, I'm targeting my pressure, and how my hands work together to control one hand. Foot control, understanding where to control at the heel and the top of the foot, depending on the particular angle and perspective. Understanding maximizing, uh, or excuse me, optimizing the control in, uh, in the foot or on the foot. Knee control, understanding how the knee works, the range of motion and where to place your hand in order to, uh, where to place your hand um, to optimize your control on the knee. And turn prevention. Turn prevention has been huge. This is something that I've been working on and really diving into. And the ability to prevent an opponent from turning is unbelievably powerful. 
I want to do a video on term prevention. Term prevention, again, is part of basic mechanics. I might do a presentation on the importance of term prevention. Um, but yes, term prevention is a major part of optimized control. So let's get into basic mechanics. Uh, we have first building mechanics from the ground to standing. We have crumble mechanics from standing to back to the ground. And of course, body mobility knowledge, which way the wrist bends, how the wrist bends, where, where the tension is caused, the elbow, same thing, the ankle, all, all of these basic body mobility knowledge, knowing how the body moves, what direction, where the tension is, how to manipulate with that, all of those things I kind of teach in that capacity. So that's kind of uh, sprinkled throughout. It's kind of baked into the cake of how I present um, pre present materials. So yes, basic mechanics are incredibly important. When you have this knowledge, it helps. It helps a, a great deal. So that's it, guys. Uh, I wanted to share this presentation with you guys of universal truths. Universal truths are undeniable. They are undeniable. I will be getting, as, as, as I continue to discover things, I will continue to share with you guys. So as always, if you guys like my content, go ahead and click like and subscribe down below. If you really like my content, go ahead and click the notification bell so that when I release new content, you'll be notified. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have any comments on, on these ideas and how I'm presenting the jujitsu and you really, really like it or you really, really hate it, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I will make sure to read through your comments and answer your questions. Thank you guys as always, and I will see you guys real soon.